Okay, so yesterday, I did a huge disservice to everybody. I, I cut a, a, I cut a piece out of the Riley video that, <laughs> had I not had my head so far up Jeff's- My name is Jeff. Shut up, Jeff. So, like, I cut a piece out that really didn't have anything to do with it. Here it is. Here it is right here. Uh, let's just watch it real quick. The wild cisgender. Look at the duck! Can you see the duck? Oh, ducky! Oh, look at the duck! Can I come over here? Can I come over here? Oh my god, he's gonna eat us. What, what do you want? Don't you think I have food? We don't have any food for you. That's actually an amazing, an amazing show of what it's like when a trans person walks into the fucking room. That's how everybody reacts. Riley, of course, reacts by getting up and fucking leaving because Riley doesn't like people. But you see, remember what I was talking about? The horse fucking walking down the street. How often do you just see a horse fucking walk by? Bam, bitches. There you go! That's why fucking people react that way whenever they see a trans person. It's the fucking duck walking into the conversation. Like, I, ah, there it fucking was! Let's watch that shit again! Can you see the duck? Oh, ducky! Oh, look at the duck! Can I come over here? Can I come over here? Oh my god, he's gonna eat us. Oh, what, what do you want? Oh, do you think I have food? We don't have any food for you. It's amazing. Everybody wants to, you know, see the oddity. <laughs> but, now, here's where this video is going to take a, a turn for the weird. I don't, I don't think that duck was there for them. I think that duck was there for me. Now, hold on one second. I'm not making a joke here. For the next story that I'm about to tell, this isn't a joke. This isn't, this isn't funny to me. This actually happened to me. This is something that was a... <laughs> a faith-reaffirming event, right? In, 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 my, in my religious beliefs, this was a faith-reaffirming event. Like, I'm not fucking around. This isn't a joke. I'm, I'm very, very serious. I, I, I know how it sounds. I've told this story before, but whatever, it's, it's, it's what happened. It, this is what happened. I remember it as if it happened last night. Now, all right, I was going through a time of a faith crisis. Uh, it, it was pretty much the crossroads. Like I was, I was pretty much there. Either I was going to forever just be like, there is no God, or I was going to continue to believe and a god existing. <laughs> I, I I was up all night thinking about it because I was home alone. I was just thinking about it all, all night long. Running through events in my life, trying to figure out if it really was coincidence or some sort of divine whatever. Like just just thinking about things. Just going going through the numbers. Going through the odds, the possibilities. The possibility between everything you see around you in life being completely and utterly fucking random or everything you see in life being there because it was designed by somebody and then kind of kicked into motion. Like, I, my religious beliefs are not normal. They're, I have the trans religious belief. My religious belief is the duck that walks into the room because I've made it rational in my mind somehow. Whatever. We can get into that in another video if we really want to. Anyways, so uh, I, I used to live in an apartment that had a lake. I'm starting to tell stories like girls. I used to have an apartment that, li that uh, lived on a lake. And when I was going through my, my faith crisis, I said, fuck it. I'm going to take a swim. The sun was coming up. It looked beautiful. There was a good fog. Like, like it was a heavy mist over the fucking lake. So it was very cool. So I went and took a swim, got out, and I'm standing there, you know, just with my arms folded, just watching the sunrise, you know, looking at the fog on the lake and shit like that. 
And I kind of just came to the point where I was like, fuck it. If God wants me to believe in him, then he better show me something fucking on cue. You know what I mean? So I just kind of said, like, if you're really out there, fucking give me some sort of sign. I don't even care what it is. Just anything. A, a noise right now would do. Just something on fucking cue. And out of the fog swims this female mallard. Just out of the fog, here comes this fucking female mallard kind of right towards me. And I'm looking at this duck. This is not like it was unusual. There's all sorts of ducks and geese. There was dozens of ducks and geese that lived on that fucking pond. Duck swims up out of the fucking fog, walks up onto the beach, turns around, and starts looking out at the fucking sunset with me. And I'm looking at a duck, and the duck's looking at the sunset, and I look at the sunset, and I look at a duck, and the duck looks at me, and it goes, Mark. And it looked back at the sunset for a second, and then it turned around and it walked behind me. And I was so stunned that I was just like... And I watched the duck kind of walk up, and I just was like, well, there you go, I guess. And I turned around and I started to walk to go and see the duck leave, because I was just like, well, on my way up, I want to watch this fucking duck for a minute, you know. Who knows what's about to happen. So I get around the gazebo and the fucking duck is gone. Now I would have heard a duck take off. And there's no possible way that that duck on its stubby little web feet out walked my ass and got around the building. Like the fucking, there's no possible way that thing just got away without disappearing completely. I, I, I it, whatever. But where I thought the duck was going to be This is where everybody laughs. I fucking found this. It was the only feather in the area. There was no goose shit around it, which was unusual because goose shit everywhere. I found this. Exactly where, in my mind, that duck would have been when I got to that point around the gazebo. I've had this feather and my faith ever since. I don't think that duck was there for Riley. I think that duck was there for all of you. For when I asked the Lord why during my most troubling times was there only one set of footprints, he replied to me, that was when I was a duck fucking with Riley. Thank mm -hmm. you.